We all know Gravity Falls, everyone's favorite show, particularly my favorite show, and yours too. Uh, a great little show created by Alex Hirsch, yes, a great writer and a great friend. But what Gravity Falls is really known for is its mysterious clues and screenshots. These are uh, very contentious among the Gravity Falls fandom, which includes myself. Now, pretty famously, uh, it was pretty understood that the twist at the end of the show was already kind of out there. Like, it was already figured out, you know? So all those decoding uh, screenshots at the end of every episode, uh, it seemed like within less than 10 minutes they were all solved, you know, and posted up on the internet. I'd always check. It was fun. Really miss those times, honestly. But what you may not know is that some screenshots, as confirmed from Alex Hirsch himself, he has said that not all the clues... And not everything has been completely and thoroughly explained. And that there are clues that people still have not found and made l made to light. And uh, I actually have a few of these screenshots here that uh, still have not been explained since the beginning of the show. And uh, let's start with this first one. Alright, as you can see, we have Grunkle Stan angrily looking back at Mabel and Dipper Pines after they decided to not go fishing with him. Now, the first thing you may notice is Mabel doesn't have any hair. In fact, it appears that she has no hair and a very large tumor on her head, perhaps a brain tumor. Now, Mabel having cancer has been theorized a lot ever since Alex Hirsch created this tweet. It reads, This wasn't presented in show, but Mabel Pines did have severe cancer throughout the duration of the show. Shortly after the finale, she would be put on her deathbed. Dipper will not handle it well. Now, that's pretty, uh, pretty dark, but that was tweeted around the end of the show. So this gives a great confirmation to the cancer theory. And uh, my hypothesis is actually that this was, a, uh, this was simply a plot line that did not happen to make the end cut. So I think that's pretty confirmed there. So I think we finally, this, this uh, screenshot has an explanation. It's been ages. It's been out there since the beginning, uh, right up there with a the McGucket uh, fake screenshot. Uh, this one does not appear to be fake since uh, Alex Hirsch uh, did not own up to it. He did own up to the McGucket one, but not this one. So this one's pretty much confirmed as uh, as a scrapped plot line. That's not the only thing. If we look closer actually, we can actually see a very small adorable uh, Tomoko-chan. Uh, very cool. We all kind of knew deep down that Alex Hirsch was actually a weeaboo, and I think he finally uh, just showed us that yes so so that was a cool easter egg a very cool easter egg in the same uh, screenshot okay we have this next one and uh, this is very disturbing uh, please look away if you are uh, squeamish uh, if you're too young and you're uh, inexposed to uh, graphic content please do not look at this this is very disturbing okay what we have here is a uh, Seuss, Mabel, and uh, Wendy sitting on a couch, except Mabel seems to have no face. This is very uh, upsetting. I am having a hard time looking at it. Clearly, uh, Wendy is very, very uncomfortable with this situation, and uh, Seuss, Seuss is just dumbfounded. He can't believe what he, 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 what he just saw. He's breaking the fourth wall. This is actually a screenshot uh, of uh, season one, episode. Uh, episode 8, around uh, 18 minutes in. 18, uh, 18, 14, that's what it reads. This is uh, very terrifying. What this actually is, though, uh, there is no uh, secrets behind this. This is, a simple, this is simply an animation error. The fun thing to say is that nothing is animated by accident, but of course, that really can only go so far, and mis mistakes do happen. And this, this I believe, just happens to be, happens to be one of those mistakes. Uh, Alex Hirsch has never spoken out about it, so usually things he does on purpose, he'll mention in, in a tweet, in an inter interview, things that were mistakes, he will never address. 
So by going by that, this is simply just an animation error. That's what I leave it as. Okay, we have this next one, another upsetting one. We have uh, Dipper and Mabel and Waddles huddling around what appears to be a, a, a very small uh, dabbing pickle Rick. Now, we do know that Justin Roiland, the creator of Rick and Morty, and Alex Hirsch are best friends. They are very good friends, and Gravity Falls assets have been incorporated into Rick and Morty episodes. Now, what this appears to be is the opposite. Now it's Alex Hirsch's turn to pay homage to Rick and Morty. Now this is what's happening here. Very cool, this actually happens in uh, Season 1, Episode 11, at the 10 minute mark and 23 second mark. And uh, if we actually look closer, we can see that Waddles actually isn't so bland anymore. As you can see, he has multiple face tattoos. He appears to be a trap rapper associated with 6 9 and the Scum Gang himself. Wow. This is, uh, another, an this is another allusion to uh, Alex Hirsch's uh, trap fandom that he holds so dearly. Now, what? Now, this next one seems to be pretty mundane. Nothing, nothing stands out. It's just Wendy giving us a couple thumbs up. Nothing wrong with that. But if we look closer into a picture that appears to be Wendy giving us the thumbs up right next to a vending machine and right in front of a door. But if we look at the door sign, we actually see what appears to be the words whites only. Uh, Alex Hirsch, what's going on, big guy? As we know, Alex Hirsch is actually uh, very Jewish. He's actually Jewish, so we know that he's probably just uh, making a joke. This is satire. He is not uh, actually making a real statement with this. He's not being serious. What I think this refers to is simply that the, this behind that door, behind that door is the washing machine they use only for the white clothes. I, I believe if you would zoom out, there would be a colors only. And this refers to laundry, nothing else. Either way, uh, this is real. This is a confirmed screenshot. Season 2, episode 8, at the 20 minute and 3 second mark is when this pops up on screen. Check it out yourself. This is true. This is real, so 100% confirmed. Just what we think, what I think is behind it is simple laundry. No, no actual hate going on here. Okay, and we have another uh, weird, somewhat disturbing one of Mabel. At first glance, you may say, Oh, Sir Dopnun, what's wrong with this one? And I would say, nothing. Mabel is perfect anyway. Any way she is drawn. But, from an objective view, if you look closely, you will actually see that Mabel's mouth was animated upside down. Now, this is uh, particularly embarrassing because this was actually uh, the first season, episode three, about two minutes and five seconds in. This is very embarrassing. A uh, very early on error. Uh, like I said, some people believe nothing's animated by accident. But this is clearly an animator error as confirmed by Alex Hirsch's silence about it. If it was a uh, if it was a joke, if it was an inside joke, if it was a reference to something else, Alex Hirsch would have talked about it. He would have said something about it. He can never keep his mouth shut about things like that. So the fact that he's been completely silent about it is 100% confirmation that this was an animation error. And we got this last one. Uh, come on, Alex Hirsch. This is just, uh, this is too far. This was very shocking to see around the end. This is actually a second to last episode, about seven minutes and four seconds in. That's the time. So, uh, Gideon has always been portrayed as a antagonist to the Pines family, particularly Stanford. And the audience never cared for Gideon, but... That does not justify what Alex Hirsch and the Gravity Falls team animated for his judgment. This was uh, very disturbing to see live on television. This is actually the only episode in the series to get a TVMA mature rating on release.
This was uh, very disturbing. There were a lot of complaints. Disney land was landed in hot water after this was released. It was very graphic. I mean, they d- did not show any true penetration on screen, but by the screams of Gideon and the moans of the prisoners, we could all know what was happening. I was very uh, traumatized for about 10 minutes afterwards. I, I almost shut the TV off right then and there. I can't imagine what the younger audiences did when they saw that on screen. I was very disappointed in Alex Hirsch. I just very disappointed. And uh, that that is the real explanation behind the screenshot. Uh, most of us have blocked this out of our memories. It's a repressed memory at this point. That's why when this resurfaced by some uh, really crazy people with strong stomachs that could actually not repress this, uh, when it came back, no one and no one could explain what happened. I had to do it. I had I spent weeks, weeks spent on the internet looking at terrible things so I could get my stomach strong enough to to watch it again and remember. It was it was very rough. And Alex Hirsch, if you're listening, damn you to hell, damn you to hell for animating this. Damn you to hell. I will never forgive you. I couldn't sleep for three days. It was too far. It was too far. This was too much. I can't do this. I can't finish. That's it. This is the end of the video. I'm going to take a shower.